Questions like, where does life come from, have intrigued the human mind since ancient times. There seems to be an idea that if we had evidence of life on other planets, that would be catastrophic for the world's great religious traditions. But that doesn't seem to be the case. We know life started here on Earth around four billion years ago. But the problem is we don't know how the transition from non-life to life actually happened. And this is part of the reason that scientists and philosophers still debate on what the definition of life should actually be. It could be many decades before we have a worked out scenario for the origin of life on Earth. One way to form the simplest building blocks of life involves starlight. That light, when shone on hydrogen cyanide and iron and water, can end up forming simple sugars, amino acids, and the building blocks for DNA and RNA. Studying the molecules in biology to explain the emergence of biology is not quite right. Researchers have now created life from non-living parts. They call it a synthetic cell. Most people think that scientists have already made life in the lab. So the world is thoroughly confused on this. Do I think that one day scientists will be able to create life in the lab? I presume so. But that day is far away from today. The other thing, of course, is the possibility of uh, finding evidence for life beyond the Earth. Enceladus is a fascinating moon of Saturn. It has a liquid water ocean. Ultimately, we would like to get down and reach that ocean to be able to run very sensitive tests and look for that life there ourselves. There is a space probe going to Titan called Dragonfly, and we hope to provide some analytical help to Dragonfly to see if we can detect molecules on Titan that are complex. It's simply a very old question. We just want to know how we fit into this cosmos and are we alone? SETI has the opportunity to explore perhaps a larger volume of phase space, a larger distance from the Earth. We would expect that we might detect um, some evidence for some electronic entities they will be evolving not by Darwinian selection, but by what I like to call secular intelligent design.